Well, guys, just like I told you guys in the previous video, we are going to be tuning this thing and pe pushing out as much power as we can. So we got right here our new far driver. I actually already downloaded the app on my phone. So if we open this one up, we got this from Econic Cycles. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and buy it. This is the 72360 model, which is good. 72360, which is good up to 190 amps. We're going to push it around 120 amps, 130. You got your harness and you got your far driver controller here. Now it looks like to get the seat off, all there is is just one nut right here in the back. And you just pull this up and you slide this whole piece back. And just like that, all you got is just one nut. So here we got the original Hobby Wing controller. And this one's actually rated for 80 amps. Unlike the EM22, which is actually 60 amps, this one's 80 amps. So this one actually got some good, more power than the EM22. Now here we got the far driver next to the Hobby Wing. So all it is is just color match. As you can see, yellow to yellow, green to green, blue to blue. And you got your uh, hall sensor coming from the motor. And we're gonna go ahead and cut these off because we're gonna go ahead and reuse these for the throttle. And we're gonna get rid of the brake sensors. And that's it, pretty straight to it. Here we got this hobby wing out. And just like I said right there, we got 80 amps, battery current. And you see a little Kugo sticker. Because this is a Kuga Wisho 2 over there on the other, in the other countries. And just a little heads up guys, the hall sensors do not connect. So we have to do a little bit of soldering for the wires. Fairly easy guys, just five wires and they're all color coded. So unless you guys find an adapter somewhere to connect the hall sensor, this is the easiest way for me. So just a heads up. driver controller pretty much wrapped up. What we did over here for the hall sensor, we actually, the connectors were different. So we soldered in our five wires. The white wire is not used because this motor does not have a temp sensor. Now, if you guys are using a Suron throttle like me, I got a Suron throttle, you're gonna have this color combo green to blue, red to brown, and black to black. That is for the Suron throttle. On a Suron throttle, as you can see, these are the three colors, blue, brown, and black. And on the far driver is green, red, and black so just a heads up solder those in i like to solder things in i don't like to use crimp connectors because this thing does vibrate a lot so we figured out on the stock connectors factory connectors you got this blue and red wire that basically goes to the orange wire on the far driver if you want to use the factory button and this is the factory wire that was also on the positive wire of the hobby wing so you guys could use that one as well and you just use one of the blacks right here as your ground i cut those and i soldered them directly to any ground on the far driver controller so very simple to that now the bike is able to power on and you hear the far driver beep so that may be able to use the factory button so i have two wires left i still need to figure out is uh, to run the can bus plus and minus from the far driver to the factory harness i am pretty sure it's going to be the purple and the brown wires but i'm gonna go ahead and test that out later so i don't burn anything up uh to make sure i could get the speed showing here for now i'm just gonna zip tie my phone or something i don't have a phone mount yet and just to see how much top speed we actually have on this bike now should be a huge increase so let's go for a ride all right guys i got the far driver app connected to the far driver controller over here we got bottom right is where you can connect to the bluetooth and then your graph you will see auto learn i went ahead and did the auto learn function and if we go to parameters open pro nble we got to verify everything to make sure everything's correct because mine wasn't even after the auto learn it switched to 72 volts i have it set to 60 volts right there switch the low let's see what do we have over here i am running right now 120 amps Max line current 120 amps. Motor direction was wrong. That is zero to make sure the bike goes forward, not in reverse. Temp sensor, we have none, so we put that to none. Pole pairs, we added five. Currently, the boost phase current is set at 360 amps. 
And what do we have over here? We set everything to 100%, all the RPMs to 100. Now, if we go down to low voltage protect, we made sure that is set to 50 volts. Once you set that, your low voltage restore will set to 52 automatically. And over voltage protect at 75.5 if you have the 60 volts. And that's pretty much it for there. And let's go for a test drive. Man, guys, this thing just takes off like crazy. The torque. Just at 120 amps, this thing just pulls. Now the real question, guys, can this thing wheelie? So, <laughs> hey guys, this nose just picks right up. <laughs> There's just so much torque. The nose just picks right up. Now let's try a little speed run. We can't, we don't have much room to do a speed run, but we'll try right here. guys we, i don't have that much road around me to actually test it and to go on actual public roads on this thing is something i don't want to do so 47 and it just keeps going and going i wonder what the actual top speed is of this thing i don't want to go on the freeway like jb360 did with his Yeah, guys, one thing I'll tell you, this thing is just a monster now. With this far drive controller, any hill, I got a hill, little hill climb right here. Just, this thing is actually scary fast. Wow. Honestly, a bit too much for me. I would actually wouldn't even mind dialing it down a little bit because the nose just wants to pick up too much now with this much power yeah it just <laughs> this just wants to freaking really all the time now all right you ready all right let's go Yeah, same speed. It's like, oh man, you didn't do anything to this. And all right, guys, and we have 62 volts left on this, so we basically raced them with about three quarter of a battery. We're about 64 volts, so a lot less. But the guy's still impressed that this thing could actually do that. Okay, yeah, guys, one of the things about cool about this bike is how the motor sits right there. You got the fins right here of the motor, which kind of give it that direct cooling. And touching the battery guys it is a little bit warm so that is a little bit scary pushing that much power so we're probably going to go ahead and dial it down to 100 amps until we get a new battery but and the motor the motor is definitely on the warm side as well it's not hot but it is warm so stay tuned guys we're going to go ahead and push this bike to its limit and see when we could blow that motor up and throw in maybe a qs 138 or a Soshin and just completely dominate the Sauron with this thing.